Hello everyone, this is my review and my thoughts on my 1996 Honda Goldwing GL1500 SE. I bought this off Craigslist about 8-9 months ago and been working on it ever since. She had been setting up about 10 years and she needed some TLC. I remember they had to replace the gas tank on her and that's a big major job. The whole rear end from about here back has to come apart. So it was quite of a learning curve to work on these things. Because let me tell you, when I bought this thing, I was kind of intimidated to work on this thing. I mean, look at all these plastics everywhere and everything. I mean, it looks like, wow. But honestly, once you learn how to do it, it's not so bad. It's just the idea that if you want to work on anything, it might take you about 20 minutes to get it all apart before you actually get to the item you want to work on. But other than that, I've rode this thing, we've put about almost uh, 2,000 miles on it since she's been driven. L rode legal again. Everything we've already made a trip down to South Texas, uh, d down to Yorktown, and from Houston. She had no problems, she did great. She was just right on cloud nine, is what she does. But anyway, I've recently upgraded from my 400 to this. I had an older guy that I knew as a friend. He said that these were one of the best bikes if you want a nice smooth riding machine. And boy was he right. This thing right here is just fantastic. I know you see a lot of old people ride these and you think, oh, this is an old person bike. But let me tell you, man, this is one of the nicest bikes I've ever ridden on. And I've worked in a motorcycle shop for a little time and tried out and rode different bikes for test runs. And... You know, don't get me wrong, I do miss that great Harley sound you hear when you have a Harley and you go down there revving. And this thing is just quiet as can be here in a minute. But yeah, if you don't really care about your cool factor and just want to have a nice ride with you and your wife and go traveling and go across the states, this is the bike you want to go on. I mean, this one, it fits in my budget when I bought it. I couldn't afford the new 1800s, wasn't even going to go there, but the 1500s are just as good, even though she's about 21 years old now, but this one only has 20,000 miles on there, and honestly, if you look on Craigslist, you can find some with some low mileage on it and everything. Now, I wanted a bike that I needed to work on, although this one was <laughs> maybe a little bit more than I bargained for, but you know what? I learned a lot, and... Coming soon, there'll be some more, probably some more videos of some more add-ons I'll be doing. Like, I'm definitely going to add some LEDs, lights on it, um, and some other things. I've got my ring of fire already on there. That thing's pretty. And I'm not sure what to do with these big floodlights on here right now. They're big, humongous. They're about, I think, 55 watts each. Those things are just massively bright. Which is good and everything, although it, if I have them on for longer than about 10-15 minutes, my bike starts to jerk and I think the alternator just can't handle it. And honestly, I think my alternator's on the verge about going, but as long as I don't run them, it seems to do okay for right now and everything. But yeah, my, my wife, we love this thing. We ride, and I mean, she gets on this thing more than I do. She'll get in the back seat and like, let's go. And everything, and that's what makes us happy is riding it. Now, I'm not going to lie, it is a little bit heavy to get used to, to be honest. It's just, well, definitely going from a 400 that weighed about maybe 500 pounds to something that goes to weight about 1,000 pounds with just one person. Especially when you get that second person on under, it is, whew, takes a little bit of getting used to. But after about a three months of driving it, I'm used to it and it's not a big deal anymore, to tell you the truth. And everything so let's go over some of the features this motorcycle has now this is 1996 so there's nothing super fancy I mean it's got a nice radio player with a cassette tape it still works how about that my wife's a little annoyed all I got is Leonard Skinner cassette tape so I could it was a home <laughs> able to find that's basically what we listen to sometimes when we go through areas where we can't get signal <laughs> yeah she wants something a little bit better now there is a place where you can take this off and have them put an auxiliary port on here so you can just plug in 
Uh, once I find out what the name of that place is, I'll put in the link in the description and everything. I mean, let's see, we also got CB here. Now, I haven't got my CB helmet hookups yet. to see if this thing works. But I will begin some soon because it's just, it makes it easier to talk between me and the passenger and possibly someone else if we're in a group and everything. So I will be getting that worked on or getting it fixed or find out how much that costs because I know those stuff ain't cheap. All right. And there's some of the other features the SC's got. Uh, this controls your radio. You can change stations. You can mute it. Let's see, this is for, I think, your CB right here. Right there's your choke, your hazards, brights, turn signals, and your horn. And everything. It won't work with the key off. Alright. I mean, this is like a little mini car. I mean, he's, heck, it's even got cruise control on it. I haven't been able to get this. This is the only thing that doesn't work on the bike yet. And I'm going to, to probably end up replacing this. I've already replaced the vacuum actuator. And that didn't do any good, so I'm going to probably replace this. It's probably been sitting up, you know, outside. Buttons are corroded. They're kind of sticky anyway and everything. Now, this here is an aftermarket piece for switches. You can buy that at a um, Goldwing Supplies. They're not cheap either and everything. And it does have reverse, which is very nice because this thing is heavy to back out of some places, and it does help and everything. I mean, you got nice saddlebags here. Let's see. I mean, I mean, look at that. Me and my wife went on a three-day weekend little trip, and we was able, well, after heavily convinced her that she was just going to have to fill up one saddlebag, she was able to do it. <laughs> all these women wanted to pack everything in the kitchen sink and all. And all that. But no, we was able to go for three days and just pack whatever we could in the bike. Now, I do have a trailer hitch. I don't quite have it wired up yet. But I will be getting that wired up, and eventually, I'll get a trailer. But for right now, I'm just going to stick with what I got. And all that. we got little side pockets here. On both sides. Now, these are something you have to be careful about, because these break off real easy. I've seen a lot of these gold wings that were broken off. This one, both of them are intact and work perfect. So I was willing to put up with a few repairs because of all the other nice accessories on it that had been in good shape. Now here we go, we got the air pressure control option where you can raise and lower your um, rear shock, check your pressure. Also, if you saw in the saddlebag I just opened, there was a hose in there. You can use that air pump to air up your tires in case of an emergency if you got a low tire. It's a very slow pump, but hey, when you're in the middle of nowhere, it's better than nothing and all that anyway, anyway that's my thoughts on my gold wing here if you're looking to upgrade to something nice and don't care and don't want to be a harley be a harley guy then get a gold wing because trust me they, <laughs> those harley guys i don't know what it is but they don't like us gold wing guys or something even though we all ride on two wheels I'm not saying that all of y'all, so don't, don't be hating on me now. I'm not saying all y'all are bad. I'm just saying some of the ones I've met. Oh, you have a goal? Oh, well, you know, and walk away and everything. But honestly, it's it's a good bike. Love it. And I'm planning on keeping this one for a long time. And anyway. But anyway, I'll be doing some more videos later on how to eventually take this apart and showing you guys how to take plastics off if you guys do have any questions and need help on taking some of these plastics or what do you do just um hit me up and i'll try to do my best to answer you and everything i will post a few more videos later on doing simple stuff and everything when i can and all that all right so yeah if you um anything just hit me up all right guys thanks for listening bye